Hi everyone, how are we doing? Um, we are back with, I'm going to do two games in this episode, I've decided, two Champions League games because they're pretty much back to back. We've got our first game uh, against Red Bull Salzburg and then we've got a league game against Monza which I'll play off screen and then we've got a big one against Bayern Munich. I definitely feel like we got semi-screwed a little bit really with the group. Um, when you see some of the other groups we could have had. Um, I was eyeing up this one, to, I'll be honest with you, Group B, Leon, Benfica, Villarreal, Zenit, any of those teams, I reckon we would have had a good chance of getting past them. Um, what was the other one? There was another one, I think, which would have been favourable. To be fair, yeah, Group A probably would have had a semi-decent chance of going through. But instead, we've been lumped with Liverpool, Bayern Munich, Salzburg and Parma. Salzburg, I think, are the team that we should be aiming to, you know, be better than. We should be beating them twice. Um, Bayern Munich and Liverpool will think it's going to be probably ride our luck a little bit in games and see how we get on. Um, and if we can sneak into that second spot, fantastic. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun one. Um, since I last saw you after Atalanta, we then beat Empoli 2-1. Gaston Brugman scored a absolute screamer of a goal. So here we go. It was one all at this point. The ball came out to Dennis Mann. He was having a bit of a stinker at this point, as was Brugman. But then the sweetest of volleys from about 30 yards out into the top corner and won us the game. Needless to say, that one got of the month. And then Empoli was a very frustrating game. Um, it was a good game. Um, they played well, but they literally just nicked it in the 80th minute. As you can see, like we had more shots. They had more on target. XG-wise, we were better than them. Corners-wise, there wasn't much in it. Possession-wise, there wasn't much in it. It was just a really tight game, which, you know, I'm disappointed that we didn't win. Uh, El Sharawi had a poor game. He's, <laughs> I think I kind of jinxed him in the last game, saying, you yeah, we couldn't do anything wrong. Since then, he's been quite poor. And then, yeah, as you can see, we won against Salernitana. We won against Talas Verona. What that means for the league is we are fifth, two points off Atalanta in first place. So that Cagliari result is even more frustrating because if we'd have managed to turn that into a win... <laughs> we'd be sat top. But, hey, it is what it is. Um, did, I kind of messed up, I'll be honest with you, transfer-wise. Um, I brought in Taliska, Taliska on a free because I think I was, I was just really tired last night and I thought it looked like he was an inside forward for the left-hand side, but he's actually on the right-hand side. Um... Because I was thinking he could be good cover for El Shirawi. He could actually be a really good striker for us as well, to be fair. But what it didn't tell me when I was off and in the place, and it only happened once I realised he was, you know, the signing was going through, was whether I'd be able to register him or not, and I couldn't. I loaned out Zakarian just to see if that would free up a space. Um, because even though he's Russian, I don't know why I thought, you know, I still think, as far as I was aware, Russia would have counted as an EU team. They're in the Euros, after all, aren't they? Um but yeah, so loaning him out, that didn't help. I'd have to actually sell someone. So unfortunately, I couldn't even register him. Thankfully, he's not kicked off or complained. So I've just put him up for loan, but no one's really biting at the moment. So if he stays, I'll try and move someone on in January, whether it's... I don't really want to move Capaldo on, but I can do if needed. Um, Douglas Costa was the only just side. I don't really want to move him. Valenti, he had a couple of bids in the summer from like Chelsea, etc. So he, he wasn't that bothered about going. I rejected the offer. He didn't seem to mind too much. Um, so we'll, we'll see what happens on that one. Um, but yeah, so that, that's where we're at on that one. I think sales-wise, I don't think I sold anyone else, did I? No, just a few other like fringe players. And yeah, Sakari went back to Sochi on loan. I mean, the team has pretty much picked itself, really. Uh, a couple of little tweaks. We brought in Sestana just to give Valenti a bit of a rest, just to keep try and keep him fresh. But otherwise, it's pretty much as you'd expect. Mare and Gold, Conti, Ahmed Hozic, Sestana, Pizzella, Capaldo, Tonami, Dennis Mann, Gold, El Sharawi and Esposito. I've left this up just so we can see who uh, who Salzburg have. Ben Davis, I think that's the Ben Davis who went from Preston to Liverpool, not the one from Spurs. Umar Sali, they've still got Lucas Vasquez is a good signing for them. Cedric Bacambu and Karim Adiemi still. Um, that's who they're going with on the starting line. Gregor Krakowiak, who obviously went from Sevilla to PSG and then had that rather uninspiring loan spell at West Brom. So 
So now that you've seen our Champions League group, <laughs> drop your comments below and see who you think, well, where you think we're going to finish, if you think we're going to get results against the big two. I'm not very optimistic. I think really we're going to be looking at dropping into the, uh, the Europa League, probably, I think, is what's going to be the outcome. I think we should really be looking to, to finish above Salzburg. And our, our hope, really, I think it's just going to be that the uh, the likes of uh, Liverpool and Munich take points off each other. And if we can sneak a draw against either of them, we might be in with an outside chance of... Um, oh, how many times have we hit the post then? It might be with an outside chance of getting through into the, the Champions League knockouts. But uh, yeah, I think I think it's going to be going to be a bit of an ask. Already getting like absolute scores of chances and decent chances inside the first five minutes. That was a very quick counter from them. The uh, distribution from their keeper was immense. Rowan Conti. Tenali again, just stealing it in. Nice. It's one of those instances where you wish they'd just like chest it down and just hammer it in. But never mind. Come on, Mary. Come on. Why are you taking so long? Nice. Nice. Oh, uh, keep that flipping heck. That looked like it was um almost outside the box. Don't know why that's changed. Oh, good save. I was going to say, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, there's the goal. Slight deflection on the way in, but who cares? Goal to this first of the season, I think that was. Yeah, Liverpool and, uh, and Bayern are playing later. Bit of encouragement, come on. Keep it up. After Pacella, he, I well thought he was going to strike that a bit earlier than he did. I just want to change that. I don't want to put that onto match stats for some reason. It, it went off match stats. Great ball. Al Sharawi. Uh, that was awful. Absolutely awful. They are playing a very, very defensive setup because Sole and Krakowiak are basically just sitting in front of the defence. Well, I don't know, it might be Salet. Umar Salet. It hasn't got a little accent over it, so maybe it is. That's a nice goal. That is a very nice goal. Lovely little caressed finish into the bottom corner. Dennis Mann picks it up here, plays it into Gold, plays it to Denali, who dinks it. Mann with the header, El Sharawi on the volley first time. Yeah. 2 0. There we go. That's changed. And that is the story of the heart. They're actually having more possession than us. I'm not sure if that's just because they keep winning the ball back because of their low block. This is probably the first and only time 
this match week where we're going to be sat top of our group. Yeah, it's interested to see who comes out on top in the Liverpool playing game. If at all, if anyone, I wouldn't be surprised if it was a draw, to be fair. And then I think and I think next game is a way to buy in, so I think we've just gotta maybe just, just go wholly on the soul like completely on the defence. I'm not always that comfortable with that, because sometimes I find when I go defensive actually doesn't work that well and our chance creation is minimal, you know, we're trying to hit them on the counter. So we'll see. Gold's flagging. I think let's take him off, keep him fresh. I think Nonto on because he, he loves playing in behind the striker as on a in the number ten role. Great ball. Ooh, yes, that's Posito. Three nil. Just buzzing, put it in my pocket. Just managed to get there in front of the keeper, slide it in. They're making this very easy for us. Their aim does seem to have just been sit back and shut up shop. But they've just invited us onto them, we've just picked them off. Great tackle. Emphatic finish from Bakambu there. I'm going to make some changes at the uh, at the back just because a few of those players are, as we can see on uh, on yellows. Bring Debo on. Nice pass. Right, made one change. Last one, Gulam's coming on for Patella just to short up that back because uh, Patella was flagging a bit and I do not want them to get a route back into this game. Quite happy for it just to stay at 3-1. Uh, at Our XG is really good in this game. Just coming up to three and a half. Obviously created some very good quality chances.
bring everything down. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Got to be absolutely kidding me. 3 2 now. Like, that was. That ball just completely bypassed every single one of our defenders. I have literally just set the line to deeper as well. No, come on, stop giving the ball away. Don't be doing that. Talk about squeaky bum time now. It was nice and comfortable at like 50 odd minutes. Nice. That's a good tackle from Davis. That's fine. Just keep it in the corner now. Just keep it there. Don't need to do anything more fancy or flashy with it. Just keep it there. I have a lot of tired legs for the Monza game on this Saturday. Give some of them a rest in the week. But uh, at least I've got the squad depth to rotate quite happily. It shouldn't really affect the uh, the performance too much. Why are you doing that, Dennis, man? Why are you pinging it all the way back? Thank you, Agmatozic. Well won. Why do I have a feeling that... Oh, Mary with the save. <sighs> They're going to... Keep knocking and knocking and knocking now. Just hit it out wide, doesn't it? There we go. Just keep, yeah, that's fine. Two seconds to go. I mean, I don't really want the corner, but you know what? There we go. <sighs> Tense finish that game, it looked so comfortable up until 65 minutes, and then, uh, well, they went and scored two goals. <laughs> Looking at the stats, yeah, it's probably quite an even game. XG is, you know, in our favour, but when you look at the rest of it, it wasn't, wasn't much in it, really. As we can see, Liverpool and Bayern did draw. Um, Inter only managed to draw against Shakhtar. Um, Juventus did win. So we finished this match week sitting top. So, uh, yeah, that's great. What I'll do is I'll play the Monza game and then I'll be back for the Bayern Munich one. Well, Monza was a uh, close one, put it that way. It uh, looked pretty comfortable. We were 3-0 up after uh, 32 minutes and then... We did what we did against Salzburg and we let them back in. 3-2 um, after 87 minutes. Thankfully, Douglas Costa made it all safe in the 93rd minute. But, uh, yeah, making life a bit a bit stressful, a bit tricky for myself at the moment. So we got Bayern Munich now. I've been <sighs> weighing up in my mind for... <sighs> probably the last couple of hours because I actually had to, I had to go out before I do football coaching. So I, I, I did that after um, the Monza game and um, I'm now now doing the Bayern Munich game. So I've been thinking, what do we do? My scouts are telling me that Munich are likely to play a um, control possession style. So I'm kind of thinking, do I press them? Um and like try and hammer them that way or do I try and match them with controlling possession and just look to hit them on a counter or just wait for the opening you know what <laughs> I'm about to pick the team and I still don't really know what I'm going to do so yeah it's not very good so we're going with the wing backs control possession now I've left Pizzella and Conti on their natural sides for now, rather than doing the inverted tactic, which, you know, did work quite well for us against like of Roma and Lazio, but we're just going to do this, and you know what, if I decide I want to change it up for pressing, 
it's quite simple. It will literally just be a case of either taking out one of the defenders and putting a winger on or pushing Tadebo up into like a number six role and putting Gold as an inside forward on this side and Nonto as an inside forward on that side. And that's what we're going to do. Um, for me, this game is as, is as much about avoiding defeat as it is trying to steal a win. So, And also, yeah, we're going Nonto up front because he had a blind there against Mons where he scored two stunning goals. So, And he, had, he played amazing. Arezzo, he hasn't scored yet. I mean, he has been in and out of injury, but he's not scored yet. So we're going with Nonto and we're going with Esposito. Here we go. This could arguably maybe be one of the biggest games I've had on this save. Bayern Munich in the group stage of the Champions League. It's massive. They've not got Sane. He's injured. Um, so, yeah. Who knows? If I can get a draw, I'll be made up. Liverpool have already taken the lead, have they? Or I think I think it's against Salzburg. Nonto's in already. Good, good effort. Good effort. It's one nil. Tadebo with the header for his first goal in pff, massive game. Look at that free kick all the way around to the back, and Tadebo's there, just like yeah, not a problem. Oh, come on. Great save. Great save. <laughs> Fighting the urge just to go to like ultra defensive low block now. Good run. I'll take that. Carry the ball as far as you can. Don't play, play for set pieces on, make the most of that. So Liverpool went 1 0 up after they missed the penalty. Good block. Good block by Ahmed Hosic. Oh, Liverpool 2 0 up now. I am unbelievably tense right now. I don't know if you can tell that over the video. <laughs> Oh, that's offside. That that looked offside. It's not offside. Okay, okay. I mean, let's face it. It was unlikely that we we're going to get a clean sheet in this game. Oh, yeah, you just played on. I'll let him off. PSG destroying Barcelona earlier on today. Oh, you... Good block. Oh, my days. Living dangerously here. Living dangerously. Oh, it's not he's on a yellow card. I do not want him getting sent off. You need to ease off tackles, sunshine. I'm not always a fan of man marking specific players because it drags them out of position. Well, 32 minutes and it's still one all. Now, I don't know, this is the problem, do I stick or do I twist? Second half, for example, do I try and take the game to them a bit more? You know, do we throw on, you know, a couple of attackers, try and go a bit more, um, get a bit more in their face? I 
Esposito, you absolute beauty. You know, I nearly didn't say anything, but as Conti was making that run, then I nearly said, obviously, that depends on what the score is at half time. I put to top of the group at this stage. Let's not get ahead of let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Come on, Seb, up you get. Dust yourself off, man. Well in Ryan. Oh, what a ball. Oh my days. 3-1. 3-1. He did dust himself off, didn't he, uh, Esposito? Came in, gets the ball, and look at this for a pass. And Nonto makes no mistake to put us 3-1 up against Bayern Munich at home in the Champions League. Oh, crazy. Un unbelievable, Jeff. Absolutely unbelievable. I'm... Understandably, leaving it as it is because this is working very well. The only thing I might do is just drop a little bit of the. Uh, I'm going to start time wasting already. Just employing the uh, the spit house tactics, as they call it, on uh, the FM pod by the Athletic. Got to keep it PC. Surely not. Why is, see, he needed a support there a bit quicker. Nonto should have been flying into that box. Take your time, Ryan. Take your time. Start slowing it down as much as you can. Every opportunity you get. Right, that's a point. Let's, let's put the tempo even lower. I've avoided going disciplined just yet because I don't want them to stop trying things like that pass from Esposito was unbelievable. So I don't want them to stop doing that. Like, you know, the odd little risky pass. I've got some really good flair players. Tenali and Gold can pick out a pass like, you know, so well. And if that opportunity arises, I want them to take it. See, like that. Right, we're going to make some subs. Just because a few players are flagging already. And we need to keep up this intensity if we can. Like, keep up this performance. I don't want any anyone dropping off. <sighs> yes, I was going to say, that one looked offside. Yeah, offside. Right, subs time. Right, we made two subs. Hamshik is coming on for Tenali. May seem a bit of a, a bold one, but Tenali was already like pretty tired and was on a yellow. Hamshik, I'm hoping, just put him on and he can just have that experienced head in there, slow the play down. And we also brought Aretta on for gold and we've dropped Nonto back into that shadow striker role. I am debating starting to employ a bit more of a low block now. I might do it, well, I say might, I will do it when I make my final change. Good save, and there we go, that's away. Salzburg have got a goal against Liverpool, we're still losing 4 1. I love the fact that Inter drew with Club Bruges. I don't think Inter have got oh, how to win yet. No, they're on two points. Right, final change. Brought on Zagaritis for Conti because he was, well, on an orange heart like Capaldo is now and also on a yellow. Um, and we've put Pizzella on the inverted wing-back roll. We've also brought the defensive width in nice and narrow, basically just to try and 
just cement that sort of second um, hour half just to completely flood that with players to make it really difficult for them to break us down. We've also dropped our defensive line, got more disciplined, and it looks like we're going to do it. It actually looks like we're going to do it. Because just coming into injury time, I don't know why Hamshik didn't just smash it from the edge of the box. He's definitely got the ability to put that in the net. Lovely ball from Tatibo playing as the libero there. Oh, throw in, take the throw in in that, in that part. As you know, you may as well just not do that though. Easy, easily cut out there by Valenti. This is huge. Absolutely huge. Oh! Arezzo nearly with a stunning, stunning goal. Hit the inside of the post and didn't somehow go in. We are going to do this. 30 seconds to go, and it's 3-1. Even if they score now, they're not going to get a third, they're not going to get a third, they're not going to get an equaliser. That's fine, that's fine. Just wastes more time. And that's away, and that's got to be the game. That's got to be the game. That's the game? Right, if any of you said you saw that coming, you're lying. Because <laughs> even I didn't see that coming. 3 1 at home to Bayern Munich. Only 22,352 people came to see that. That's why we need a bigger ground. 38% possession for us, 62% for them. Shots wise and XG wise, we matched them, but they definitely had the lion's share of the ball. Need a minute to process that. Hundred percent record in the Champions League so far. Two games in. Media loving it. Let's see. Luca Distasio chuffed. For Fiorio Guadango, Guadagno. Unbelievable result. Indeed, unbelievable is the word. So after two games, we sat top. Two points above Liverpool. We've got them next. So, could it be another another performance? This has got to be a way that'll be at Anfield. I think that one is just going to be a just, it's going to be a park the bus game. Juventus losing to Porto. We are the only Italian team in this round of games. So if one, I think AC are playing tomorrow. Well, I'm, I'm still can't quite get over that. Um, yeah, incredible. Obviously the finance as well. We got 2.46 mil and Newgate receipts record as well. Like if we can, if we can sustain this, look at the finances now, what are we on? 40, just under 45 mil. It's not helped by the fact that we're now overspending on our budget because Talisk is here and he can't play. So, you know, that'll be rectified in January, no problem. Um, surely a new, a new stadium at some point is going to be on the way because our current stadium is... Uh, oh, it was pretty much at capacity. <laughs> it was a full house last time. Um Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. So, next game is Lazio, Liverpool, and then Milan. Great. So, uh, that's going to be a fun fun three games. If we can get anything out of them, I'll be made up. We're currently sat second, a point behind Milan in the table after eight games. Whisper it quietly, but my aspirations for a champion uh, title, push, challenge, who knows? Maybe maybe I wasn't being unrealistic. We won't sustain it. Other teams, Atalanta, Juventus, Inter, they'll come roaring back. I can't see us holding that out. But we can push them, push them far and get a third, maybe. I'll be happy. So, uh, yeah, 
I, once again, let me know if you agree. And uh, oh, what a, what a night! What a night of games. Uh, take it easy, everyone, and there'll be another video up tomorrow. So uh, yeah, stay safe.